Jason Van Dam again from Michigan Outdoors, and we got a question from Ricky Thompson, uh, and it's really timely right now. You know, how do you get these bass in the fall on these days like this? You get these high pressure days, you can see them cruising around the shallows, and they just won't bite any reaction baits or just really hardly hit, won't hit anything. The biggest thing is having good polarized glasses and really looking for them. When I see that, these type of conditions, you get that calm, sunny day, I want to look for them and make sure that I see them before they see me. If, if they see you, they're probably not going to bite. And then after that, I'm going to use a real light drop shot with like a dream shot or a really light Ned rig. You know, a Ned rig has become one of the hottest finesse baits out there. You know, this is the new Ned Ocho from Straight King. Uh, it's a dynamite bait. Just use something real natural color like dirt or just green pumpkin is one of my favorites. This moon juice is a real good one if they're on uh, like emerald shiners or things like that. I'm fishing a little deeper today, so that's a really good color for here. But you gotta be stealthy, you gotta hunt, and you gotta lead the fish. You know, pitch it out there 15, 20 foot in front of them as you see them swimming down the bank, and just let it sit there. Don't even move it. Just, just move it enough to get their attention. A lot of times they'll swim right over there and bite it, especially smallmouth. They're notorious for that. You see that a lot at this time of the year where they're just up there. They may be up there in two foot of water. They're just kind of enjoying that sunshine after these cold nights, and they're really not feeding. So you, you got to really finesse them. Subtle presentation and stealth is key.